In this video, I am going to show you how to make the highest converting piece of content that you're probably not making that you 100% should be making inside of your business. I'm telling you right now, if you were to start making this piece of content consistently, you would be able to print tens of thousands of dollars of income inside of your agency or digital business basically overnight. I am going to be talking about the single most profitable piece of content that you need to be making that you're probably not inside of your digital business. I'm telling you right now, I am pumping this piece of content out and I'm helping my clients pump out these pieces of content that is consistently making them several tens of thousands of dollars inside of their businesses and inside of mine. I've made a video before talking about how to actually do structure and conduct client interviews. So so I won't be going over that again in this video. Instead, what I will be doing is driving home the point why if you have not started asking your clients to sit down and do interviews with them, you need to stop everything that you are doing and do that right now. If I had to take a guess, I would assume that a lot of you guys probably haven't started conducting your client interviews simply because you just don't know how impactful they are. Like if you knew how much money that would make you, you probably would be doing it. So I'm basically going to drop down the veil on why client interviews work so much, the psychology behind them, where to place them, and why they just make so much money. Think about things like this. There are a few different ways that you wanna show up to your prospect before they actually become your customer. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna provide undeniable proof that you are the industry expert and the person that is the best in the world at solving their unique problem. That might sound like a big, grand, and very difficult thing to do, but truthfully, it's not. And the easiest way to do it is to have somebody else that's not you say how good you are at a certain thing. And that is exactly what your client interviews do. Think about things practically. A lot of times in B2B sales, we think about things from our perspective instead of the perspective of the person that we're selling to. Generally, whether you're doing an inbound or outbound campaign, people don't know who the heck you are. Wait a minute. So you have to tell them. And what will work better than anything else is having someone else tell somebody who you are. When you sit down in a client interview structure, you are preventing any miscellaneous things of happening and you are putting undeniable proof in someone's face that you're not just good at the thing that you say that you're good at, but you are the top 1% at solving problems because most people cannot get their clients results. So when you have a client on an interview with you that is saying, hey, this agency got me these results and I never would have gotten these results unless I worked with this person and you're making it a fun conversational style thing that's not boring, that has a lot of industry jargon so people know not only that you're good at it, but the person that your interview actually runs the business, you are undeniably the person that they need to work with because obviously if you can get results for this person and they're crazy and outstanding results like the thing you're doing on the client interview call then you should be able to get results for the person that you want to sell to and basically all the prospects inside of your business now that is the clear and sort of the obvious thing that client interviews do they position you as the industry leader that if somebody has a problem that you help solve that you are the go to person to helping them solve them. Now, the funny thing about client interviews is a lot of my clients say, look, Cam, I am producing a ton of client interviews, but they never get any views. And my thought and my idea is always it's because you're not a podcaster and in most B2B spaces, the industry or the people that you're talking to is very, very small. So instead of relying on algorithms or basically YouTube search to get you in front of your clients, don't even think about client interviews as serving those purpose at all. The biggest purpose that client interviews are going to serve is you directing people to them. I like to call this content placement. So putting content in strategic, what I like to call drop off points of your sales process. For example, one of the biggest drop offs is when someone books a call on your website. So basically all of your marketing works. You put in a ton of time, a ton of energy to get someone to actually book on your calendar link and then they do it. 
That time in between them booking and them actually showing up for the call for a lot of my clients' businesses and probably a lot of your businesses, I know for sure mine, is a drop-off point. As in, it's a point where somebody drops off the sales cycle. They can book a call and then basically vanish into the ether never to be seen from or heard of again. But instead of that happening, what you want to do is strategically place your client interviews right there inside of that drop-off point. So before somebody's able to drop off, as soon as they book inside of your calendar, what pops up on the screen is a client interview. And not just the client interview, a lot of client interviews, a lot of case studies, a lot of things that say you are good at the thing that you say that you're good at. Another example of this is in between sales call one and sales call two. Typically, if you're doing a two call close strategy, essentially what happens is that you talk to the person on sales call one, qualify them, in between sales call one and sales call two, you do, you send the proposal. And a lot of people, especially after reading the proposal, won't show up for call number two. How do you prevent that drop off from happening? Well, you put a client interview inside of your proposal. So you say, hey, my price is four or five thousand dollars a month to work with me. But instead of you just telling you the price, because people are always scared of numbers and nobody ever likes to be sold to, what you say is, hey, Here's my price, and here is a client interview of my extremely successful client who is in your exact same position who I just helped make $20,000 from the $4,000 investment that you were about to make. Can you start to see and understand why strategically placing your client interviews inside of drop-off points in your business are the thing that absolutely unlock everything that needs to happen inside of your marketing? Now you're getting into sales psychology. Now your sales calls are a whole lot easier. Now people believe you. Even more so, now you can use the selling point of telling somebody, look, I want to turn you into a client interview. So what I'm going to do is make your project as successful as it possibly can because the only thing it's going to do is to help my business. It's not even about money anymore. It is about the reputation of everybody that I work with saying that I'm good at the thing that I say that I'm good at. I'm trying to tell you guys producing client interviews and then strategically placing them inside of drop off points in your sales process is the unlock for your business. It's the answer that you've been looking for. It's the thing that works over and over again and will continue to work until the end of time. Reviews, Google reviews even, and like little screenshots of random people talking on your website that just don't convert how they used to back in 2019. Right now, you want someone to sit with you. Talk about how amazing you are to work with. Talk about how much your stuff actually works over everyone else in your market, every single one of your competitors, and put that on camera. Post the video and then strategically place it everywhere on your website, in your sales process, talk about it on sales calls. Do this as many times as you possibly can and I promise there is no way that you will not see results. Now, doing client interviews, case studies, and actually doing all of the things that I talk about in today's video typically takes somebody in anywhere in between 10 to 20 hours a month. If you're running an agency, you probably don't have time. My agency is able to do all of this stuff in just about two hours a month required from you. If you wanna know more about that, click the first link down below because hey, I'd love to turn you into a client interview. See you on the next video. Peace.